Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild and we are back with another video. Today we are doing a redo of a weapon core video that I did showing off the different fire modes of turrets, which gives you a whole lot of control. We're just doing something about weapon core. If you don't have weapon core in your modded gameplay, uh, I would say that this is one of those cornerstone mods that this is one of the first mods you really should upload if you're going to mod space engineers. Uh, what it will do to not just allow you to put in other weapon core mods, which is what weapon core is, just a framework. But it also redefines how you would operate your current turrets. So we're doing this because the last time I did this video, the toolbar was completely cut off the screen and people couldn't see what I was doing. So this time I've had time to think about it. We're going to set up the turrets. I'm going to show you what this uh, part of weapon core does. And then I'm going to show you how to set it up with your own turrets with this nice missile launcher over here. So first off, we are going to hop into this nice little seat here. I'm going to hit the tab button. You can see I have all these neat little options here on my toolbar. Now, they do multiple different things. we got two targets moving away because I've already done a few takes and messed them up. <clears throat> but we're going to try and do it this one. So what I can do now is I can just turn off or turn on the turret right now on number one. And uh, the cool thing about Weapon Core is normally if you just turn on the turret, the turret will do pretty much nothing. In Weapon Core, you kind of have to lock onto your turret a lot of times. That one may be out of range by now. That one's not. So you see right there, we can just unload, and the turrets will just automatically fire at it. And they'll reload their Gatling guns back up, and they'll just continue to fire. This is how your guns normally operate. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is we're going to hop into number two, and you can do this with any turret but you can't use your custom turrets. Now, we'll turn those off for a minute. You can't use custom turrets to attack, uh, to, to slave custom turrets. That's not possible. <laughs> or at least I haven't found a way for that to work yet. What you can do is use your custom turrets to control a bunch of regular built turrets. So you can have a custom built mega turret that one of your buddies controls and slave several turrets to that in to that one turret so that they operate and they fire perfectly but what we're going to do is we're going to turn this back on you can see they're firing like mab but let's say i don't want to do that let's say i want to target that cargo transport and i want to override this now i could try to disable the weapon core i could try to disable target lock but let's say i want to do something a little different and i want more control over my turrets personally press number three which is the cycle shoot mode we now have manual control. You can see here, you can see the turrets are tracking. Now, mind you, they're still locked onto this one right over here. In fact, I could move in and lock onto this. They will not fire on it until I press the, unless I left click, then they will open up. So now I can target this ship here that has just popped out of nowhere. I can take full control and I can do this. I can let one set of turrets do one thing while they're targeting a, a target over here. They're shooting at this grid. And then I can manually take control of certain turrets and then just light this ship up. So go in here and look at that. We are just able now to just control the target and fire on it. Now, if I go to three, this turns it into painter mode. Say I don't want to control my, my turrets at this point. Say I want to hold off on them and I want them to target something, but I don't want them to, you know, shoot at what they're automatically locked onto. I want certain turrets to prioritize a target. What I can do here is I can prioritize that. And then even if I were to say lock onto this over here, they're still locked on here. So say I were to lock on over here on this. Well, that's probably too far away right now. But you get what I'm saying. What will happen is the turrets will prioritize this target over here that I've painted. And that's what painter mode does. You can go in, set one set of turrets to painter mode, and set them to target. See if I can paint this or not. No, I can't paint friendly ships. So let's say you were to paint an enemy ship. You could paint one enemy ship. You could then set... PDCs to automatically target anything coming in. And then if you had another turret that you were operating or a group of turrets you wanted to operate on manual, I would then have manual control over this turret and then I could fire at whatever I wanted. I could just open up on things myself, have my own turrets that I could fire. 
But then at the same time, I would also have painter mode, which means I could lock onto a target over here. And then just hit that paint. And once you see that, that shows where I'm painting the target at. Then the turrets that I have painted will auto target that. Even if I were to select like, well, I don't have a target right now. Even if I were to select a different target, even if I were to go over and click, I'm going to target this thing and force other guns to go in. So I could have missile launchers painted onto another target. I could have guns contemplating on that. I could have machine guns targeting anything that moves in on auto. I could then also do this, activate uh, manual. And then this is my target going in. I could just keep firing on that. So on to the big question. How do you set this up? <laughs> and uh, I'm going to show you this with missiles because missiles do something completely different. Well, number one, all you got to do is you got to press K. And since we're doing this with the missile launcher, we'll go to missile turret. And what you want to do in this is you want to go down. There is a feature here called this. This is what it is. This is what enables you to do all this stuff with the fire control modes. And one of that is share control. Operates with weapons with manual painter mouse control enabled will enable when using the control button above. So in other words, you click this and this enables this turret to take control of things. So now with this turret taking control, we have it on, but what we're going to do is I'm going to press G. First off, I'm going to find this missile turret and I'm going to set it in there. And what I want to do is I want to do cycle shoot modes. I believe that's what I want to do. I may be wrong. That may be not what I'm wanting to do. It may be control mode. Let's try that. I think it's control mode. Yeah, control mode there. Because when you put control mode in, you'll see auto pop up. Now, we're going to go back to our turret control. Where's our target? Oh, way out there, heading out and just flying away. Look at that. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to push number six, turn that on. And so now I have number seven, which it will lock onto things. We have now manual control. If I look back here, you can see the missile launcher turning and you can see the missiles will fly. Now you'll notice the missiles kind of arc around and move. There's a reason for that. And I'll show you, see them turn all of a sudden. And let me show you there, that thing's not out of range yet. We're going to hit it with the missiles real fast. Hopefully not hit me. I'm going to lock on. You can see my missiles are tracking. This is the cool part. Now the missiles will somewhat track and engage targets. And now with this number seven, you can do painter mode. You can do auto, let them just fire out crazy. You can do manual mode in which you control them. And like I said, with the missile launcher. Also this, this neat little feature in which the missiles will turn in weapon core like this, where they basically become tow missiles. You can do this with the regular missile launcher as well. Everything but the hand missile launcher, I noticed, will do this. Any ship missile launcher weapons, it'll fly, it'll go places, it'll do what you want. But uh, yeah, that's just how you set it up. You just put on uh, number seven, like I said. All right, let me hop out of here real quick. You basically press A when you're completely out and you're in the system. You just select the turret that you want to use as control. You want to put shared control onto the turrets that you're wanting to operate with. And then you can operate this AI shoot. You can do this from here, but you can also mess with that. Later on, I'm going to see what I can do with uh, these other control modes that we have here. This is what you're probably working with. This is AI shoot. And then you've got mouse control. These do something completely different and I'll show you all what they do in another video. So yeah, this is how you do the control turret mode in which the turrets will then turn and operate. You can manually control them. Like I said, this works very well that you can then focus fire. Sometimes your turrets are not that accurate. And with big guns like artillery, this is really important because you only get one, a lot of times you only get one good shot with your artillery. And a lot of people will set them up for just a mass bombardment. In other words, or mass volley, where you'll hit the gun, the system will just fire all of its guns off. And you want to get that target because if your opponent is moving, uh, 
sometimes your ship will miss because it's firing at where the ship, where it thinks the ship is going to be instead of where you can calculate where the ship's going to be at. And you can do that with these guns. You can actually target in and, and stay on target and put a little more accuracy on there with your guns. Uh, later on, I'll show some other stuff on this channel and how to do this. I'm going to do an entire series. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to bring more Weapon Core related stuff because we are getting on to the new AI system. And uh, as always, it's Badger Wild. Stay safe, stay frosty, and I am signing out.